Every child is unique, and the AT each child uses needs to fit their individual needs. The SET framework is designed to help you make that decision, taking into consideration the child, the environment, the tasks needed to be accomplished, and the AT tools that are available. Here's an example of how SET can be put to use. Okay, let's go to our seats to the table, guys. Thank you. Here we can see a preschool classroom transitioning from one activity to another. Mario, go to your seat. While the teacher's verbal prompt is sufficient for most children, Mario is struggling to understand what is expected of him. There is a constant struggle for Mario and for the teacher who has to continuously redirect him. Look, we're going to sit. Mario. I'm a teacher. So how do we consider our AT options for Mario? Start with the child. What are Mario's strengths? Weaknesses? When available, refer to the child's IEP. Next, consider his environment. When and where is Mario struggling with transitions? Does it happen between circle time to snack time? Or between multiple settings, such as classroom to the playground? Are the difficulties with transitions happening when the directions are given to the whole group? Just him? Or both? Are the environmental arrangements in the room making it easy for Mario to understand where he needs to go from activity to activity? Once that has been determined, break down the tasks into manageable goals. What are your goals for Mario? In this case, the teacher wants to help Mario learn to transition without disruptions. Does Mario understand what's expected of him when he's transitioning from one activity to the next? Finally, let's consider our AT options. Guys, circle time is over. <laughs> and now it's snack time. Since Mario thrives when offered visual choices, would Mario benefit from having an individualized picture schedule that shows him which activity comes next? Or use a visual timer to indicate when activities are finished? It's time to stop. Maybe the teacher could offer an auditory cue. So snack time. Such as a repetitive song or ringing of a bell. We are walking. One, two, three. To alert the children and Mario, it's time to transition from one activity to the next. Also, given Mario enjoys socializing with peers, the teacher could pair Mario with a buddy who's good at following directions to model what's expected during transition time. Mario could have a job, such as passing out materials or arrange chairs for an activity to give him something positive to do during the inevitable wait time. Or maybe show clearly labeled pictures all across the classroom marking designated areas where the children need to go. Once we choose which AT tool to try, it's important for the teacher to keep track of what's working or not working so the AT plan can be adjusted as needed. Outside! Go outside, so we're gonna stand up and make a line. Remember, AT consideration and implementation is a fluid process that requires trying it out to find out what works best for the child.